Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Gorilla Workshop. Today, we're going to be recharging an accumulator for a top mount style Traymac BRV32. This is a charge kit you can order from us. It's a different kind of charge kit than normal. There's a five sided key with some O rings on it here that, that gets clamped onto the top of the accumulator. Uh, you've got a gauge, a bleed off screw, and a filling port. These are the little tie rod studs that clamp the charge kit to the accumulator. So if we come over here, you'll see <coughs> this has already been rebuilt. There's a brand new diaphragm in there and the, the assembly bolts come up from the bottom and they've been torqued to 220 foot-pounds. So when we go to fill it, we generally always replace the uh, inflating screw and inflating screw seal. We wanna make sure that this surface is nice and clean and polished for the seal to sit up against. So you put the seal in and then the inflating screw. You'll notice this inflating screw has five sides on it. So a regular socket or wrench won't really work. You can look at that nice and close. And that'll match up with our, uh, the key in the charge kit. So that lines up onto that. Got to make sure that pops on there nice. Okay, so when you turn this, that's not moving. So it's on there good. So depending on the size accumulator, you may need some spacer washers. Uh, this gets clamped on. You run them down nice, nice and even at first, because you want this to stay flat. Just a little bit of a tightening, tightening on the bolts is all you need. You want to make sure that this is flat up against the bottom to make sure those O-rings are sitting. If you look from over here, you see that this side's a little high. There's a little bit of an air gap under there, so I want to loosen the left side, and tighten the right side. That should flatten it right down, right? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now, depending on what you have for a uh, nitrogen bottle, you may need to adapt this little fitting. For us, we use uh, JIC, so I'm putting an adapter on here to get to uh, number four JIC. So now to fill this, <clears throat> we connect, the, connect the bottle. Now this needs 32 bar, which uh, on this gauge is probably right around there, which is about 470 PSI. So <clears throat> open up your nitrogen bottle, turn in the regulator, close your bleed off screw. And then you wanna actually open your five-sided Allen key. This will allow gas to go into the accumulator. Maybe a turn you can hear when gas starts to flow in there. Just like any other gas charge, we want to overcharge and then bleed off. That's what we'll use the bleed off screw for. So we'll go up to maybe 40 bar. And back there. And we close our five-sided key. Bleed off what's in the hose, because right now the inflating screw should be sealed off, which means we've got 40 bar in the accumulator and 40 bar in the hose. So we'll drain that off.
the hose off because we, now that there's gas in there, we want to check where it's at and drain it down to the 32 and a half bar. Seal that up, make sure that's closed. And then we open our filling screw again. Okay, all right, 37 and a half bar roughly. So we gotta open it up and drain it down. That's drained. Let's bleed out screws. Let's just open them up and double check. Perfect. 32 and a half bar. This inflating screw is supposed to be torqued to 25 foot pounds, but I like to make sure because this is a very labor intensive process to get this replaced. So it's worth it to take a little extra step to make sure it's tight. Once we know that there's 32 in there, we can do that same leak check where we close the filling plug, we close the bleed off screw. We've got zero PSI reading on the gauge and we know that there's 32 and a half bar in here, which is about 470 PSI. So if we were leaking by the screw and that inflating screw seal, uh, the gauge would come up, but it's not. So we can pull our charge kit off. It's handy to have a spray bottle of Windex or some type of soapy water to check. See if you're gonna get any kind of leak. Check around the screw and check around the seam. Looks pretty good. And that's about it. Now that once once that's recharged and checked, we can put it on top of the accumulator and torque it down. And that's the end of the rebuild. Thank you.